How to Live a Happy Life After Marriage Once the customary honeymoon period is ended, actual life can be very different from what is depicted in fairy tales and romantic comedies, which typically finish with the pair living happily ever after. However, there is still hope for couples who are working toward the goal of bringing a little bit more joy into their relationship. It is unreasonable to expect a marriage to be problem-free, run smoothly, and bring unending joy to its participants. According to Courtney Cope, a certified marital and family therapist and the lead clinical operations manager at BetterHelp, an online mental health platform, every relationship faces challenges, conflicts, and ups and downs. The anticipation of living in a condition of unending contentment might set one up for both disappointment and frustration. Taking into account the fact that maintaining a happy marriage involves consistent work and adjustment is one way to better manage expectations. As a part of this continual effort, COPE advises these six tried and true strategies to cultivate your emotional connection with your spouse and assist in ensuring a healthy marriage. Maintaining a happy and healthy marriage takes effort, but is not impossible. Some things can be done to have a healthy marriage just like some things can be done to have a healthy body. For example, excellent nutrition and regular exercise can help you have a healthy body. Here are some suggestions that can help strengthen your marriage. Number 7. Make a point of spending quality time together. Couples must make an investment in regularly scheduled time together that is just for the two of them. And this could be in the form of weekly date evenings or monthly trips for a long weekend. During different seasons of life such as parenting, going to school, and so on, and during different financial situations such as young married couples versus more established couples, how you spend quality time together may look different. However, it is important that you put something on your calendar regularly, says Cope. It's important that you put something on your calendar regularly. Scope says that it's important that you put something on your calendar regularly. Number 6. Manifest your affection and gratitude. It's important to take the time to express your affection, desire, care, and appreciation for your partner, adds Cope. Whether it's verbal affirmation or physical expressions of love, it's important to take the time to do so. Make it clear to them on a daily and weekly basis how much you value their presence in your life. Number 5. Make emotional and physical closeness your top priority. It is essential for partners in a relationship to be aware that there are other significant ways in which they can be intimate with one another in addition to their physical closeness. It's easy to let the business of work, raising a family, and taking care of all the little details of life take precedence over tending to the intimacy of your relationship, explains Cope. It's important to make sure that you prioritize the two things that are most important to you in your relationship. However, it's important that even if you're in a season of life where physical intimacy is impossible, such as illness, pregnancy, postpartum, or depression, the couple is still fostering emotional intimacy by sharing feelings, stating desires, and being deeply known by your partner. However, it's important that even if you're in a season of life where physical intimacy is impossible, such as illness, pregnancy, postpartum, or depression, you and your partner may benefit from discussing with a sex therapist, sex educator, or medical doctor if you find that you are having difficulty maintaining physical closeness due to obstacles related to your health or the difficulties you are experiencing emotionally. Number 4. Participate in activities that have common appeal. Finding methods to connect over shared interests can be good for your relationship even though it may be tempting to keep to your hobbies. However, you should make sure that these ways of connecting do not involve engaging in unhealthy behaviors such as binge-watching television. When you have bonds that go beyond a marriage license and sexual intimacy, it allows for deeper enrichment in your relationship and in the life that you build together, says Cope. When you have bonds that go beyond a marriage license and sexual intimacy, it allows for deeper enrichment in your relationship. Number 3. Engage in productive dispute management. Conflict is unavoidable in any type of relationship and marriage is not an exception. However, how you manage the conflict makes all the difference in the world. When your partner does something that you feel is damaging to you, it can be helpful to assume that they did it with positive intent to prevent needless arguments. For instance, you may feel annoyed that your partner left a mess in the kitchen, even though you have repeatedly requested that your partner clean the dishes before you leave for work. This may be the case even though you have asked your partner numerous times to do so. Then you recall that your spouse has a major presentation coming up and you speculate that they may have needed to dash off to the workplace to finish getting ready for it. In this instance, it may appear that your partner was being disrespectful, inconsiderate, or forgetful. However, it's possible that they were just coping with their stressors, anxieties, or limitations at that moment, adds Cope. On the surface, it may appear that your partner was acting disrespectfully, inconsiderately, or forgetfully. If you feel yourself becoming frustrated, Cope suggests taking a break of 20 to 45 minutes in different rooms and then coming back together once you both regain your composure and have the opportunity to think about what it is that you truly want to say. When you get there, she will recommend that you use I statements so that you may make your point without blaming your partner. 
In the previous scenario concerning your partner and the messy kitchen, you may have been tempted to yell something along the lines of, you always leave the kitchen in a mess, and you don't care at all about my feelings. According to Kobe, a better approach would be to say something along the lines of, I want to talk to you about something important if you have a minute. Because I only have a short amount of time to make my breakfast in the morning before getting to work. I have noticed that I feel a lot of tension and overwhelming feelings when the kitchen is a mess. When the kitchen is left in a sloppy state, I am frequently running behind schedule for work. Number 2. Encourage one another's growth and development on a personal level. It's reasonable to say that neither you nor your spouse are the same individuals you were on the day you got married. Whether this is for the better or the worse, the pun is meant. This is especially true if you've been married for a long amount of time. It's important to support your partner in their evolution of becoming the next version of themselves and offer them both space and emphatic encouragement of their journey, adds Cope. Supporting your partner in their evolution of becoming the next version of themselves is also important. The more excited your partner will be to continue their life journey with you as a key character in their life story, the more supportive you will be of your partner in their discovery of themselves when it comes to your relationship with them. Number 1. Realize that it's appropriate to hold differing opinions. You are not going to find a point of agreement on everything, but it is essential to be fair and respectful even when you do not. Pay attention to the perspective of your partner. Make an effort not to grow upset and restrain yourself from allowing yourself to become very frustrated. Take some time to yourself to gather your composure and then come back to the conversation when you and your partner are in a more relaxed state of mind. Find a middle ground with your differences and work out a solution that benefits both of you. To be genuinely happy and successful, marriages require not only hard work, dedication, and love, but also respect from both partners. It takes work to have a marriage built on love and respect for one another. Both partners in a marriage need to pull their weight. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.